Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about some more products coming out for BoxyCharm or potential spoilers. I did do a video on this previously where a bunch of screenshots from surveys that are normally posted on the Facebook forums were sent to me and I just shared my findings with you because if I find out something I kind of, you know, I want to let everybody know what's going on. Um, so I have another round of screenshots that were sent to me and plus a very interesting one that just recently was brought to my attention and it's about MLM products being in subscription boxes. So if you want to hear everything that's going on with that, then make sure you keep on watching this video, of course. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and become part of the Wolfpack today. Now let's get into it. It took me a while to get these because I got kind of sidetracked and then I was like, well maybe I'm going to wait and see if anyone else talks about this and no one ever did. And I had forgotten about it, honestly, until one of the new brands came out in the December box. That led me to believe, well, these must be true because there is one item already in the box. So I thought you would like to know more about what's going on, so I'm gonna go ahead and share those with you. Um, just to protect their privacy, I'm not gonna share the names. The new one that I got on Twitter, I really appreciate her reaching out to me. If you follow me on Twitter, you can probably find the thread for it. Um, but I haven't had a chance to ask her if it was okay that I mentioned her name in the video. Um, but she is rocking some beautiful bangs. I'm so jealous and her eyeshadow is beautiful. So girl, you know how to do it. Like I, I wish I could rock some bangs like that. Um, so first up, let's just start with, um, right out the park, Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. How cool would that be if it's in the box? I personally have never tried anything from her brand, so I can't say as to whether or not it's worth it. I was tempted with her most recent lipsticks. Charlotte Tilbury is expensive. I don't think it'd be so cool to get it in the box. I think if it's going to be in the box, it would possibly be in premium because we've been getting a lot higher end products in there. Um, possibly Lux, but I'm guessing premium. And then next we have, have you heard about the brand Kate Somerville? Duh. <laughs> Yes, I've heard about Kate Somerville. I don't have anything from her brand either, although it was featured recently in the FabFitFun box um, for the winter. What categories would you like to try from Kate Somerville in your box? A, I want them all. Uh, B, exfoliation. Then we have anti-aging, acne treatment, or none. One thing I noticed going through these questions, with the exception of like one of them, the option for I want them all or none is kind of in weird places. I don't know who decided what goes where, but just a little side note. Next question, if you've heard of or tried Eloise Beauty, how do you feel about the brand? And feel free while we're going through these questions, go ahead and answer the questions for yourself or for me so I know what you're thinking. Um, this is question number nine. And also, I don't know how many questions there were, the screenshots that I have are just random um, so one through five one being not a fan three just all right and five you're in love with the brand I haven't heard of the brand so I can't answer that one next up number 12 if you've heard of or tried Erno Lazio how do you feel about the brand again on a one to one to five scale I think I've heard of Erno Lazio L-A-S-Z-I-O or Lazio maybe maybe not this one but I think I've, I don't know I may have heard of it um, if you've heard of or tried Norris, how do you feel about the brand? And Norris is spelled K-N-O-U-R-S. And that's question 15. Like I said, there must have been a ton of questions on here. I'm only a few in and we're already on 15. 17, have you heard about the brand Brow Bar by Rima? Now, if you are a uh, base box subscriber, that brand was featured in the base box this month. So this is why I'm kind of thinking that these are actually gonna be in the box in 2020. Question 20, have you heard about the brand Pure Aura? Yes or no, or I don't know. I have not heard of it. I don't know what that is at all. Okay, the next one I actually do know. This is question 25. What categories would you like to try from Bobbi Brown in your box? Bobbi Brown is another one of those luxury brands I've never been able to afford. Um, we've got brow pencils, lipsticks, lip gloss, concealer. I want them all. See what I mean with the weird placement? Um, highlighting powder, lip balm and tint, eyeliner, foundation, pressed powder, lip liners, none. The placement is so odd. Um, eyeshadow, bronzer, mascara, or blush. So they're talking about makeup. No skincare in that, so that's just all makeup. Bobby Brown. There you go. And this is question number 29. What categories would you like to try from Clinique in your box? Clinique, I have tried specifically their skincare. 
And um, this one goes moisturizer, cleanser, exfoliator, makeup remover, serums, masks, toner, eye care, ser uh, lip care, sun protection, lotion. I want them all or none. So with Bobbi Brown, it was going to be mostly makeup products. And with Clinique, they're talking mostly skincare. Now, I have tried the toners. I've tried the gel moisturizers, which their moisture surge line, absolutely love. I'm such a huge fan of those. Now the makeup remover, if you've ever gotten any kind of gift set from Clinique, you've gotten that makeup remover. I'm hoping that if it's going to be in the box, any of this stuff, do not give me another makeup remover. I don't want it. I have some I hadn't even opened yet. Like I'm, I'm giving them away to uh, my friends that's been needing some. I'm like, take them. <laughs> I always get them in the sets, but I always buy the sets because they're a good value. And a lot of times you get them for free if we're already buying something anyways. And I love the moisturizers that they have. So normally I just like, I'm spending money. Do you want something for free? Sure. Give me something for free. I'm not going to turn it down. Um, next question. This is number 33. What categories would you like to try from MAC in your box? Now we've had MAC before, so I'm not surprised to see it in here again. Um, but the makeup that they have listed is foundation. I would love to try a powder foundation from them. Um, then we have lipstick, lip gloss, concealer, mascara, blush, bronzer. Um, I want them all and it cuts off. I'm assuming there's one that says none at all. Question number 35. Have you heard about the brand Girlactic? Well, yes, I have BoxyCharm. We've gotten them a few times in our box. And also, if you do Ipsy, those have been in the box as well. Oh, and I forgot to say that the eye look that I did today, um, I did record that in my previous BoxyCharm video. Um, so if I haven't put that out yet or if I have... If I have put it out, it will be linked down below. If not, just be on the lookout for it. Um, next question. Have you heard about the brand Isle of Paradise? No, I have not. <laughs> and so that is all the ones that was in that part of the survey, the questionnaire that she found. Um, and like I said, a lot of these are always posted on Facebook. You can find them for a limited time. And I don't really know, you know, how... Sometimes they're emailed to people, so I'm not really sure. This was just sent to me in screenshots, so I'm not really sure how they obtained them. So, um, I just, I don't know. I'm just sharing with you anything that I can find out myself. Now, the most recent screenshot that I had been sent, this was sent to me on Twitter. And if you don't follow me there, I'll have it on the screen here below. Um, so, there's four different products listed here. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the other three, and then we'll get to the, the last one. Um, first up, we have from Tarte, the Sugar Rush Best Bud Lip Butter Balm. Retails for $12. Um, Sugar Rush, if you don't know, it's a sister brand of Tarte, which we've had Tarte in the box many, many times. Especially if you're a new to Boxy Charm, you can get a new palette if you use a special code. Um, so I'm not really surprised that Sugar Rush is in here as well. Then we have from First Aid Beauty, the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. Have we had First Aid Beauty in here before? I'm trying to think. I don't think we have. And the KP body scrub i think that's a fairly new product as well because i was asked to review that one but then i declined i didn't want to review it because i had another i was using um, then we have the wonder beauty glow ahead illuminating face oil retails for 42 dollars. i think we've already gotten that one or maybe we got something like it let me see yeah the glow ahead face oil we've already gotten this one so why there would be a questionnaire about this after we've already gotten it i don't know and that also makes me believe that the people who are getting access to the new surveys if they're being emailed to people because that might be what this one is maybe they're new subscribers because if they don't already have this i just don't see them asking people who already got in the box i don't see them asking them about it again you know but the last product on here is what is causing so much converse uh conversations about boxycharm um this is the monet lash and brow enhancing serum retails for 59 dollars monet it is part of, it is a MLM company. And what that is, it's a multi-level marketing company. Basically, you have to sign up to be a rep. And then you're signed under other reps. And there's reps, reps, reps everywhere. So you're trying to sell this independently to people. Um, other MLMs include like Mary Kay, Avon. I don't know if this is what's happening. Like maybe more of these subscription boxes are trying to go more into MLM products. Because Ipsy's already had Avon. And I took screenshots of this because I wasn't sure about it because I didn't get it in my box. But someone got a Avon eyeliner. Yeah, on Ipsy's website, they have the Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks 
um, eyeliner in 24 karat. People were getting that in their boxes um, either this month or last month. And then they also have listed on Ipsy's the, the Avon Big and Daring Volume Mascara. I don't understand what is going on. <laughs> like, there is, if you like these brands, you know, that's, that's fine. This isn't bashing on the individual brands. It's just the fact that MLNs are coming to subscription boxes. I mean, they may be thinking like, yay, that's a good thing for them. But honestly, as a subscriber, I don't want them. <laughs> Giving products you can find in Ulta and Sephora, independent brands like ColourPop. Um, yeah, I'm drawing a blank right now. But not MLM products. I mean, you can make a Facebook post. Anyone sell Mary Kay? anyone sell Avon there's gonna be like 50 people in your town doing this if I wanted those products I would go straight to them a lot of times they can give you sales on them I mean or you just want to help out a friend who's selling it themselves I don't really like that they're coming to boxes and especially a lot of these people I don't know if it's all of them but I know I've always heard stories online people who are doing MLMs their people the way the pricing was set up and you had to sell so many so fast otherwise you would end up owing money to the company look up anti-MLM videos there's a lot of them out there I've been watching some of them and if you're going to start offering that in subscription boxes if you have a friend who is struggling to meet these these numbers I mean I'm sorry <laughs> I don't think it should be in there and especially the thing that is going on the most on reddit right now is with the monet is that there are so many different lawsuits against them right now i haven't read into those i haven't looked into them i don't think it has a place for it i really i wish i had gotten the survey and i wish i had gotten it so that i could go to the end where you add in your little comments don't put it in the box i grew up with avon my mom sold it my grandmother sold it i just i don't think it needs to be in there box of charm Ipsy, whoever else is out there, don't put it in the box. I don't want it there. Go away. If this is something that you have perspective on this, if you have some information about it, can you please comment down below? I think this is a dialogue that kind of needs to be started and I'm hoping that BoxyCharm is sending out this survey because they're wanting feedback before deciding to put it in the box instead of with Ipsy where they just put it out there and you know nobody asked for it but here it is. I, I hope BoxyCharm is just asking about it and it's not already a done deal and it's going to be out there. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for taking time to hang out. I really do appreciate it. And I'm sorry if this was a long video. If you have any more information, if there's anything else you want me to look into, guys, make sure to comment down below. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye.